Star News tonight at 6. You're looking at pretty crystal clear surveillance video of theft. That's right, and if you know this man, police want to hear from you. Our Demont Terry is live at the scene of the crime where church leaders want to catch this man, but for a different reason than police. Jermont? That is correct, uh, Carmen. You know, Catholics come here to reflect, often praying when the church building is locked. Now, um, this was built about seven years ago. If you take a look over my shoulder, you can see that they have cameras mounted, but this is the first time these cameras capture the man praying where worshipers pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, our Lord is with you. Believers light candles. People come here at all hours of the day uh, and night to offer prayers to the Virgin Mary. Blessed are you among women, and the blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. The understanding is that she takes those prayers to Jesus. This Marian Grotto at St. George Chaldean Church is holy to worshipers. Uh, it is a sacred, sacred place, officially. But take a look at what one man does to it. Last Friday, around 1 in the morning, this man goes right to the steel-plated offering box. He fiddles with the lock, then he kicks it. Minutes later, he grabs a crowbar and starts pulling, pushing, and eventually pries it open right in front of the Holy Mother statue. He clearly seemed to know what he was doing. There were moments where he was uh, assuming the posture of prayer. Whether he was praying or not, I don't know. Whether he was trying to look inconspicuous, I don't know. While Father Matthew Zaytuna is saddened by the theft, let's just say this sinful act doesn't shock him. I'm not surprised from anybody's sins. I hear confessions all the time. This is a place where people come asking for forgiveness of sins. They usually don't commit new ones here. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners. You can see this sinner scoop up the cash, but that isn't the biggest worry for the church. I wish he would have come to ask for help, and we would still love to help out if he needed anything. I don't care about paper. The man is seen driving away in the minivan. Police want to catch him, but the church wants to pray for him. Now and the hour of our death, amen. I wish he would have come in, in the right way and not not in the manner with which he did come. Now they usually empty that box once a week, but unfortunately they hadn't gotten around to it. So it was at least two weeks worth of donations. They believe that this guy got away with close to $800. Interesting enough, the church is working to get a better reinforced steel door on this um, donation box. And of course, if you can help identify this individual, you should contact police. Reporting live, Jamrat Terry, Local 4. All right, Jermont.